Welcome back to the channel from the one, the only review gamer. So we're going to do my 2023 Spotify rant. Drive time ready? Let's do this, yeah? 2023 was a feast for your ears. I have the um, audio muted because of music. These are the six songs I listened to the most in 2023. So. Country, uh, CCM, post teen pop, movie tunes, and pop. I do listen to a lot of pop music. Absolutely love my pop. But yeah, uh, this um, one plays listen just like you, Lynchburg, USA. People there are far more likely to be fans of Francisca. I still don't know who that is. But over 2023, I listened to 228 songs in 2023. Uh, number one is obviously going to be Rachel Platten's Fight Song. Uh, according to this, it says your top song was Fight Song by Rachel Platten. Uh, I have to agree with that. Rachel Platten, I have, uh, Rachel Platten's Fight Song is one of the songs I listened to a lot in 2023. And according to this, it says I played it 29 times this year. Uh, and it started on January 8th. And it still sounds perfect. That is absolutely correct. Rachel Platten Fight Song is one of my favorite songs. And I've listened to it a lot in 2023. In fact, it was my number one song last year as well. So, Rachel Platten, top artist. Uh, but you had room for more than one favorite. You romantic. You. Uh, my top songs are... I want to start with bottom five of my way up. So we got Breakfast by Dove Cameron. Uh, Could Have Been Me by Hazley, which is from the Scene 2 movie soundtrack. I've still not seen that Scene 2 movie. Uh, Girl on Fire by Alicia Keys. What Are You Waiting For by Miranda Cosgrove. And then, of course, Fight Song by Rachel Platten. Yeah. Uh, your top song 2023, why stop there? Here's a playlist of all your top songs you love throughout 2023. I do say those every year. I do write those every year. Uh, time is constructed, but way we kept track anyway. You listen to 3,451 minutes. That's Two days non-stop. Wow. Didn't realize I listened to a lot of music in 2023. Over 3,000 minutes. Uh, your, your listening peaked on September 9th at 184 minutes. Wow. Is that a new record? I don't know. Uh, you listened to a 129 artists this year, but one. Came out on top. 129 artists. That's a lot of music. No. Say hello to your top artist, Taylor Swift. You're a top 9% fan and you spent 691 minutes together with Taylor Swift. I've still not seen the Aerostore movie yet. I really want to see that Aerostore movie, by the way. Um, didn't realize I'm a, I didn't realize I'm a big Taylor Swift fan, but according to Spotify, I'm a bigger Taylor Swift fan than I am, than I thought I was. But I do listen to a lot of Taylor Swift. I mean, she's a great artist, and her songs are so beautiful. So... Uh, you couldn't get enough of uh, Welcome to New York. Now I'm delivering fan mail. Okay. You had, you had something special with your top artist. Here's how you spent time across the year. Ooh. I'm kind of curious. Number one. Taylor Swift. So my Pete Lizzie month was actually in November for Taylor Swift. Kind of curious what my number two is.
Number two, Rachel Platt and Pink Listening Month, April. Mostly due to fight song. I listen to that fight song a lot. And that's the only song I think I originally listened to by Rachel Platten. Number three, The Cast of Little Maddie. Pink Listening Month, also in April. I do listen to a lot of Little Maddie. Number four, Miley Cyrus. Pink Listening Month is June for Miley Cyrus. Number five, Selena Gomez and The Scene. Pink Listening Month, also in June. But I just count Selena Gomez. And Selena Gomez and saying like one artist is still both Selena Gomez in the end. I do like Selena Gomez. She is so cute. Um, my top artist number five, Selena Gomez. Number four, Miley Cyrus. Number three, the cast of Love Maddie, most likely Dove Cameron. Uh, number two, Rachel Platten. Number one, Taylor Swift. Do listen to a lot of Taylor Swift, so Oh, hi. This is a special message from me to you. Basically a thank you note. Honestly, it looks like you listen to a lot of my music this year. Doesn't matter which era you were listening to, I'm very, very grateful to be on your Spotify wrapped. One moment, please. The way you listened this year makes you a hero. Or maybe you should say anti-hero. Says Cyclops, when it comes to your listening, you're loyal and devoted. You like to focus on one genre, sometimes while wearing a monocle. I'm confused on that one, sure. That was fun, yeah. Uh, same time next year, maybe. I'm going to pause this. So, my top artists are Taylor Swift, Rachel Platten, The Cat, Olivia Maddie, Miley Cyrus, and Selena Gomez and The Scene. My top songs are Breakfast, uh, Could Have Been Me by Hazley from The Scene 2 soundtrack, uh, Girl on Fire, uh, What Are You Waiting For, and Fight Song. Listen to 3,451 minutes. My top genre was pop. Guys, thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments in the comment section down below. What was your Spotify 2023 rap look like? What are your top five artists? What are your top five songs they listened throughout 2023? What is the amount of minutes you listen to? What is your top genre? Let me know in the, in the comments in the comment section down below. See you next fantastic episode of Review Gamer. On the next episode of Review Gamer is actually going to be my PlayStation 2023 wrap-up video for the year. See you next time. All right.